Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be working on an extra, extra small dog sweater or a, a older kitten sweater. So like, say 15 weeks or so. Yeah, and we're going to start that in just a moment. Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a cat or dog sweater. So for a dog, it would be an extra, extra small, and I'll put a chart so you know what sizes that fits. And if it's a cat, it would be for a cat that's approximately 15 weeks old or so, maybe a bit older, maybe a bit younger. Somewhere around there though, but a kitten sweater. It's not gonna be like for a full size cat. Okay, so you're gonna need a crochet hook. This crochet hook is a 4.5 millimeter. Funny story about the Band-Aid on the crochet hook. My grandmother, when she would get a sore um, finger from crocheting, rather than putting a Band-Aid on her finger, she'd put it on the hook and then she <laughs> wouldn't get a sore finger. So there you go little story behind the band-aid. Today we're going to be using Red Heart Comfort. This is Coast Print. It's a, a variegated yarn. And then to um, accent, we're going to use just some scrap blue, which is the same weight, which is a four ply medium worsted weight yarn. Okay. So let's find our end. Okay, so we're gonna start with the variegated. We're gonna cross our yarn and we're gonna chain 40. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Okay, we're gonna go to that very first chain we've made and we're gonna slip stitch into it. Okay, just like this. Slip stitch, we're gonna chain up two. Now for this pattern, we are working in half double crochets. So, to do a half double crochet, yarn over, into the stitch, pull through, yarn over, go through all three loops. Let's do it again. Yarn over, into the stitch, pull through, yarn over, go through all three loops. You're going to do this until you have 40 stitches. This chain two does not count as a stitch. So 40 stitches, meet me back. Okay, I'm back and I've done my 40 stitches. So now what you're gonna do is for the first round, you're gonna go into that second stitch of the chain two that we started with, okay? And we're gonna slip stitch, chain up two, and then we're gonna do 40 more stitches. But when we get around to the other side, we're gonna be slip stitching into the stitch and not the chain two, okay? And that's how I prevent my um, work from kind of um, going on a diagonal. Otherwise I find that my, my joins will start going diagonally, but this way it keeps them fairly straight. So that's my little trick. If you have another trick, by all means, 
do it. Okay, so do this round and meet me back. Okay, so I have again done 40 stitches and I'm always counting my stitches. Just because you have to count your stitches doesn't mean you're an amateur or whatever. I've been crocheting for years and years and I count my stitches all the time. Okay, so last time we went into the chain, this time we're going into the stitch. So instead of going into the chain two, we're going into the stitch. So we're gonna go into the stitch and do our slip stitch to join this round. And we're gonna chain two. We're doing another round with the variegated, but we are not cutting our yarn. So once again, do 40 stitches. And with this next row, we are going to go into the chain. So 40 stitches, we're gonna do a color swap. So we're gonna join with our new color. So 40 stitches, meet me back. Okay, so I came back around. Now you'll see that, see it's quite close. I went right into where I did the slip stitch, but that's okay. Now this time we're doing the chain for the join, but we're gonna use our different color. So this is our contrasting color. You're just gonna pull that through, chain up two with that. Do not cut the other yarn. It's going to be a bit of a pain, but I hate hiding threads at the end of a project. So this is one way that we save on hiding threads. Okay. So now we're going to do two rows with the blue and I want you to remember. So the way I do is I count my rows. I say chain stitch chain. And so then we know this round we're going to, um, join in the stitch. Okay, so we're going to do two rows of the half double crochet, just like we did 40 stitches, one row go into the chain, one row go into the stitch, two rows, meet me back. Okay, so I've done my two rows and we're on chain stitch, chain stitch, chain. So I'm in this chain for joining. Now on the back, very gently, I'm grabbing my variegated yarn and I'm going to use that to slip stitch. Okay, so I did that to slip stitch. I'm chaining up two. Okay, I'm going to do a part. Sorry. So I'm going to do part of the half double crochet, but instead of yarn over with the variegated, I'm yarn over with the solid and I'm pulling through. Then the next stitch I'm doing the half double crochet, but to finish it off, I'm bringing back the variegated and I'm pulling through with the variegated. So along the back, you don't want to be pulling the yarn too tight because you don't want to distort it. You want it just laying across the back nice and neat. And see what we're doing is we're doing a neat little <clears throat> accent row here. Now your yarn is going to get twisted. It's only for one row, so don't sweat it. Okay, so you do all the loops and then you go back to the other color and pull through. Do all the loops, go back to the other color, pull through. Do all the loops, go back to the other color, pull through. And we're just going to do this <coughs> all the way around for this row. Okay. And it just gives it a neat little look. I love how it looks. See how it's giving it a nice accent row. You'll see how it looks once we're done. Whoops. See, I got talking and I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so do all the loops, switch color, yarn over, pull through. Do all the loops. 
switch color, yarn over, pull through. Okay, obviously I can't talk and crochet at the same time after I worked a graveyard shift because I get lost. <laughs> Bear with me. Okay, so do this all the way around and then meet me back. Okay, so we're back around. I'm on my last stitch. I'm going to um, do my, finish it off with the variegated and I'm gonna slip stitch, but I'm gonna slip stitch, chain stitch, chain stitch, chain stitch. Okay, so I'm slipping, stitching into the stitch and I'm using the contrasting color and I'm chaining up two. Do not cut the variegated at the back. Leave it there. We're going to bring it along with us. Now we're going to do two more rows of the solid color. 40 stitches. So two rows again into the, the chain, into the stitch, into the chain, into the stitch as far as where you join. So two more rows of the blue and then meet me back. Okay, so I've gone around. Now I'm going to join with the variegated because I ran around twice. Chain two. Now at this point, if you know where your scissors are, which it would seem I do not. Oh, there they are. Okay. At this point, you can leave a tail from the blue and cut it. And this is when you can untangle it from your other yarn if you're still out twisted from that one twisty row we did. Okay, now we're gonna do two more rows of the half double crochet round, alternating, joining in a stitch and in the chain, okay? Two more rows and meet me back. Okay, so I'm on my second row. I'm going to join into the stitch. I'm chaining up two. Okay, now here's where we're going to start changing things up. Now, first of all, I want to make sure that you understand our seam here is actually going to be on the side of the cat sweater or dog sweater. Okay, so um, our front and our back look beautiful and the side you don't even notice. Okay, um, so, and this is the, the belly part or the rib part of the sweater, okay? So now we're gonna divide it. We're gonna do the back section and then afterwards we'll do the chest. So we're gonna start with the back. So we are did our chain two. Now we're gonna pick up 20 stitches, just 20, still in the half double crochet, and we're gonna work back and forth on these 20 stitches for six rows, okay? 20 stitches back and forth for six rows, and then we'll come back and we'll do the chest part. Okay, so six rows, meet me back. Okay, so I've done my six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna make my loop big and I'm gonna cut a bit of a tail, okay? Now, very gently, because I'm gonna pick out this knot later, I'm going to pull that, but I'm not pulling it tight. Do not pull it tight, because we're picking it out later. And you will want to kick yourself if you pull it tight. Now, you see right here, let me zoom in. You see right here, this is where our first stitch was. We're gonna go in there Pull our yarn through and we're going to chain up two. Now we're going to pick up 20 stitches again, okay? One, two, three, and this is to work the chest. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. See how that worked perfectly? Um, if it didn't quite work perfectly, say you lost count, um, just leave one blank or whatever. You'll be fine. This is kind of forgiving. Oh, I guess I can zoom out. Ooh. Okay. So now chain up two. Now we're going to start the, the arm holes or the leg holes, okay? So we are going to decrease at each end of the row. And this is how I do it. And everyone does it a little bit differently. Yarn over into the stitch, pull through. Yarn over into the next stitch, pull through. You've got five loops. One, two, three, four, five loops, okay? Yarn over, go through all five loops. So did you see what I did there? That turned two stitches into one. So we had done 20 stitches. So this row we're going to end with 18. So that counted as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and this will be seventeen. So our next two we have to do together to get eighteen, right? So seventeen, yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over into that next stitch, pull through, five loops, one, two, three, four, five, go through all five loops, chain up two, that was your eighteenth stitch. Okay, now we're gonna decrease each row until we're down to 10 stitches, okay? So let's do another one. Yarn over into the stitch, pull through. Yarn over into the next stitch, pull through. Five loops, one, two, three, four, five loops. Yarn over, go through all five. That turned two stitches into one. Now you're gonna do the rest and this row is gonna have 16 stitches. So you're gonna do this down until you have 10 stitches. Do that, meet me back. Okay, so I've done my 10 stitches. Now, I'm gonna reach to that back section and where the chain two is, I'm gonna go in the top of the chain two and slip stitch. Okay, chain up two and make your loop big. Now, remember that space where I said we we're going to pick out our knot, pick out the knot, and we're going to do the same thing we did on the other side. We're going to go into the front onto the chain two, and we're going to slip stitch with that tail. Okay, pull through, pull your tail through the loop, and this time pull tight, and you can just tuck that in the center. Now going back to your working yarn, make sure you have the right side facing you. We are gonna do one round of 30 stitches, half double crochet. And when you get to the other side, you're gonna slip stitch with your contrasting color, okay? So let's do this row, 30 stitches, not counting the chain two, and meet me back. So without cutting your variegated yarn, your main color, you're going to just slip stitch with your um, alternating color and then do 30 stitches. And when you get to the other side, we're going to go back to the variegated and you're done with the contrasting color. Okay. And then you can give it a snip. That last row, um, the 
After this row of the contrasting color, you're going to do another row of variegated color and you'll be done. So 30 stitches. Now we went into the chain to do this row. So the next one will go into the stitch to just make sure that our stitches line up nice and neat. Unless you, like I said, you have your own trick on how to do that. And then we will hide our threads and our sweater will be done and it is adorable i know i say that about every one of my designs but you know what first of all i just love crocheting and second of all i do i really like these designs they're so simple but so adorable people i find in life quite often make things so terribly complicated um and this really is not complicated. The hardest part was our accent row that we did. And really, how hard was that? Other than having a bit of twisted yarn for a little bit, it really wasn't that hard, was it? Okay, and like I said, count your stitches. So this one, you're going into the stitch not the chain and you're going to use the variegated or your main color then you can cut the contrasting color and we're just going to do one more row oops oh no that's right one more row of the main color and then we are pretty much done. Now, if you want this um, sweater to be just a bit bigger, go with a bigger crochet hook. And if you want this sweater to be just a bit smaller, go with a smaller crochet hook. If you want it a lot smaller, I would switch like let's say you want to make it for a teacup chihuahua or something like that that's still a puppy i would maybe use a three millimeter crochet hook and some baby yarn or stock yarn same number of stitches just uh do it in that size to enlarge this larger than just a teeny bit like by changing your crochet hook size. Having said that, I have changed my crochet hook size and added a few rows um, to get all the way up to a medium in this. But again, it's trial and error. Um, you would probably, to make it for like a medium sized dog of any sort, like say a uh, collie or something like that, you're gonna have to add a lot of stitches. So. It's like basically a whole different pattern. But I do have some um, medium size, sorry, not medium size. I have some small size dog sweaters in my playlist. Um, and I will put a link to different size sweaters in the description. Okay, so we've gone around while I was talking. This one we are going to do in the chain two we're gonna just close it cut put your tail through your loop pull tight and now hide your threads and there is your adorable little cat or dog sweater for me this is going on my cat we got a new kitten his name is Phineas very sadly, our beautiful kitten Loki passed away due to a horrible, horrible bladder blockage. We were devastated. Um, but after a while, we decided to give another kitten a go. And we're totally delighted with Mr. Phineas. So this is going to be a new sweater for him. And I will make sure he models it for you. So hit the like and subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you think. And if there's any kind of stitch you want me to incorporate into a dog or cat sweater, just 
tell me and I will see what I can do. Thanks so much for watching. Bye now.